Hello, I'm Skeeter Spaulding. I'm a chaplain with Cowboys for Christ, and welcome to the short go. I have in my hand here a saddle, what's left of a saddle. Um, I started taking this saddle apart. It uh, had some dry rot around the skirt, and I thought, well, I'm just going to take it apart just for the fun of it. I was thoroughly amazed at just how many screws staples and nails are in a saddle it is put together piece by piece one layer over top of the other and i had never taken one apart and i was just amazed like i said at how it is layered together so and i'm not done with it yet i've got some more stuff to take off of it i'm going to get it down to the tree here just to just to do it and so, but in the Bible, uh, in Isaiah 28, verse 14, this is about the word of God. But the word of the Lord was upon them, precept upon precept, precept upon precept, line upon line, line upon line, here, there, here a little, and there a little. That's talking about the word of God. There are 66 books in the Bible. And it took as many as 1,500 years for different authors to write this book. And it's inspired. 2 Timothy 3.16 tells us that all Scripture is given by the inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, that the man of God may be perfect, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. I've been reading about good works, about God had, in Ephesians tells us that God prepared good works for us to do, that we should walk in them as believers in Christ. And when it comes to God's word, it is put together layer by layer, a little by little, and it's God's holy word. It's what we need for correction, for reproof and instruction and training in righteousness like Paul was telling Timothy. So I hope that you'll take time and spend time in the word. As I always say, it's the only anchor that we really have. It's the only thing that will never fade in value. The stock market can go up and down. You can lose money. The economy can crash or it can flourish depending on what's going on. But God's word never, never diminishes ever. So I want to encourage you to get in God's word this February as you spend time in his word. You'll see how it's put together line upon line, precept upon precept in all 66 books. Pick, pick a place and just start reading. God bless you, and we'll see you somewhere down the trail.